Family presents America's favorite family, the Nelson, Ozzy, Harriet, David, and Ricky. And now a word about one of the many fine Quaker products, Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. <laughs> Hi. Have you seen this Aunt Jemima ad? Remember your first Aunt Jemima's? Brings back fond memories. I hardly remember my own, but I do remember David's. He was only two or so. He couldn't even say Aunt Jemima, but he could say more. And Ricky, he was quite the little man, age five. It's hard to believe they were ever that small. And Oz? I don't know when he had his first Aunt Jemima's, but I remember the first ones I fixed for him. Aunt Jemima was a blessing for young brides. You could count on perfect pancakes every time. Yes, Harriet, and that happy fact has been true for over 60 years. That's why more people eat Aunt Jemima's than any other pancakes in the world. Light, tender, always good eating Aunt Jemima's. By the way, which is Aunt Jemima Day at your house? Now, Quaker invites you to enjoy The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. I can't understand it. Joe isn't usually this late. No, it's only 8 o'clock. Well, I know. We have the alley reserved for 8.30. Oh, you've got plenty of time. Well, no, we haven't. We have to drop you and Clara off at the women's club. Well, look, why don't I phone Sally and ask her to come by for us? She's going to drive us home anyway. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Hi, Oz. Oh, Joe, I was just looking for you. We came in the back door. Hi, hi, hi. 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 It's late. Where have you been? I was trying to find the bag for my bowling ball. Well, wasn't it with the ball? No, it wasn't. And you'll never guess where I found it. I thought we'd finished with that discussion. That's why we came in the back door. I didn't want everybody outside to hear us arguing. <laughs> Where do you think I found this, Oz? Now, yeah. you promised not to tell him. I'm not telling him. I'm asking him to guess. Well, he'll never guess, and you'll have to tell him. Well, for goodness sakes, tell me. It was in the refrigerator. Now, that's not fair. You promised. I didn't tell Oz, I told Harriet. Well, what was it doing in the refrigerator? <laughs> You'll never believe this. Can you think of a better way to carry a cantaloupe home from the market? <laughs> it sounds like a very clever idea to me. Thanks, Harriet. I think I'll send it in to Popular Mechanics. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. You girls have to go to the women's club? Yeah, why don't you come bowling with us? No, not tonight. This is a very important meeting. The last time you had one of these important meetings, we wound up building a booth for your charity bazaar. Oh, so that's the kind of a meeting it is. Sure, didn't you know? It's their annual We'll Raise the Funds if We Can Get the Husbands to Do All the Work campaign. <laughs> uh, girls, uh, let's have an understanding, huh? This year it's going to be different. Don't count on any help from us. How can we raise money unless you fellas help us? Well, when we want to raise money at the men's club, we don't ask you to help us. Wait a minute, what's this? Well, maybe a few little things. Like decorating the hall and making the refreshments and selling the tickets? Well, how about your dance last year? I wound up carrying 83 chairs, hanging four miles of crepe paper and making 15 gallons of punch. Seven of which you drank yourself. Well, I was thirsty after all that work. <laughs> well, come on, are we going bowling or aren't we? Oh, just a second. Yeah, I guess we are. I just wanted to make sure we weren't going cantaloping. <laughs> Do we need gas? Uh, no, one of my tires seems to be a little low. Well, good evening, Paul. Oh, good evening. Can I fill it up for you? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I've got plenty of gas, but would you take a look at my tires? The, the left front one there. Oh. Seems to be losing air all the time. Yeah, that seems a little low. Uh, do you got to bring it in tomorrow so you can fix it? I won't be open tomorrow, Mr. Nelson. I think the tire is all right, though. I think the valve is just a little bit loose. Yeah, that, that could be. Uh, you won't be open at all tomorrow? No, I'm taking the first weekend off in two years. I don't blame you. Where are you going? 32 pounds. Where's that? It means 32 pounds of air in the tire. Oh. Where are you going, Mr. Peters? Oh, I'm going to take a little fishing trip up the lake. Uh, what are your customers going to do for gas? Most of them have come in today. Oh, you know, I, I guess it is a little inconvenient to take the weekend off. Yes, it is. You know, I didn't want to go at all, but last year I promised the wife that we'd take a weekend off. Somehow we never got around to it, so I told her this time we'd go for sure. Well, I think it's very nice of you to keep your promise. You know, I didn't have much choice. 
She put a deposit on a cabin about six months ago. <laughs> uh, for this weekend? Yeah. Said this time she wasn't going to take any chances. Well, you'll probably have a good time. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Well, good night, folks. Uh, good night. Uh, thanks for the air. Well, girls, we all know the purpose of this meeting. To find some way of raising money for our charity fund. Now, does anybody have any suggestions? What about you, Harriet? Well, I've been trying to think of something, but we've done just about everything. We had a dance last year and a bazaar the year before. Say, I just thought of something. Oh, no, that'd be too silly. Oh, well, maybe not. At least let's hear it, Clara. Well, we just stopped by Mr. Peters' garage, and he's going away for the weekend, and I thought we could take over his gas station for him and split the profits. Hey, that's Why, Clara, I think that's a wonderful idea. You do? Well, does anybody know anything about running a gas station? My husband used to work in one. Darb is very good at changing tires. Oh, so's Joe. Well, then as I see it, we have two problems. First, to get Mr. Peters to agree to let us take over the gas station, and then to find some way of, uh, shall we say, enticing our husbands into helping us with the work. Well, it is a little unusual, Mrs. Nelson, but frankly, I can't see anything wrong with the idea, but I, I would like a little time to think it over. Oh, well, of course. Shall I phone you tomorrow morning? Well, I'll be on my way up to the lake by then. Why, uh, why don't I phone you in about uh, half an hour? Will you be home by then? Oh, yes, that'll be fine. All right, I'll give you a ring at home, Mrs. Nelson. Oh, well, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Nelson. This is Mr. Peters. Is Mrs. Nelson there? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Peters. Uh, uh, no, she's not home yet. Oh, well, I'm a little early. I promised to call her. Uh, would you give her a message for me, please? Uh, okay, sure. Would you tell her it's okay for the women's club to take over the gas station while I'm away? Oh, well, yeah, sure. You tell her I'll leave all the keys at the drugstore on the corner, and, and I'll leave a note explaining everything. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, thanks very much. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. What was that all about? That was George Peters. Uh, evidently, the, the women's club has made some sort of arrangements to take over his gas station for the weekend. <laughs> that's ridiculous. How can a bunch of women run a gas station? Well, that's just the point. You, you know who's going to do all the work, don't you? Naturally. Who else? The husbands, including you and me. Well, maybe you, but not me. I, I've got plans to play golf this weekend. I'm not going to spend it pumping gas and... Wiping windshields and, and changing... Wait till Harriet starts to go to work on you. Oh, she can try anything she wants, but it's not going to do her any good. Are you going to let Clara talk you into it? Well, not if I can help it. But you know those girls. They're fiendishly clever, and they've had years of practice. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Well, at least we found out about it ahead of time. That gives us a chance to figure things out. Well, what's there to figure out? Our strategy, our defense. We've got to figure out how to say no and then not let them talk us out of it. Well, how do we do that? Well... Let's see if we can visualize what they're going to do. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, they'll come in the front door and, and they'll say, uh, uh, Hiya, fellas. Yeah, that, that's exactly what they'll do. Hi, fellas. Hi, fellas. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, girls. How was the bowling, dear? Oh, fine, thank you. It's a lot of fun. I'll bet you beat Ozzy. No, as a matter of fact, I didn't. Not tonight. Well, I bet you could have if you wanted to. Well, now, I don't know about that. Ozzy's an awfully good bowler. Oh, <laughs> thank you, dear. Oh, I know that. They're both marvelous bowlers. In fact, I think we're lucky to have such wonderful husbands. Oh, I think so, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you, girls. Yes, thank you, girls. They're so thoughtful and kind and helpful. Oh, well, I'm not very helpful. You are, too, dear. Well, Ozzy's helpful, too. Oh, well. In fact, we can always count on these wonderful husbands of ours to do just about anything we ask them to. Especially oh. <laughs> if it's for a worthy cause. Oh, that reminds me, dear. The girls at the women's club are taking over Mr. Peter's gas station this weekend. And we thought maybe you and Joe might like to help us out. Oh. <laughs> you mark my words, that's exactly what's going to happen, and I'm not going to fall for it. Well, me either. Wait a minute. Here they are. Remember now, be on your guard. They're very clever. Yeah, but we're even cleverer. <laughs> hi, fellas. Hi, fellas. Oh, uh, hi, girls. Oh, uh, hi, girls. <laughs> Something went wrong. 
wrong here, didn't it? This isn't the way you said it was going to happen. Well, you, you didn't expect it to happen exactly the way I said it would. Did it give him a little time? What are they doing out there? Well, I don't know. Don't you think we ought to go out and see? Will you sit still? Okay. The suspense is starting to get to me. Relax, will you? Relax, will you? They're just playing a little game with us. Hey, no wonder they haven't started to operate. They don't know about the phone call from George Peters. Yeah, you're right. Wait till I tell them and then watch them go into action. <laughs> Oh, Harriet, uh, I almost forgot to tell you, uh, you had a phone call. Oh, who from? Uh, George Peters. Uh, he said to tell you it was okay for the women's club to take over his gas station this weekend. Oh, thank you very much. How was bowling? Oh, fine. I bet Ozzy beat you again. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, we broke even. This isn't going at all according to plan. Well, I couldn't predict exactly what was going to happen. Would you fellas like some cake? Uh, uh yes, uh, thank you. There's ice cream, too. Okay, girls, what's the pitch? Chocolate and strawberry. Uh, uh, chocolate, uh, but you know what I mean. Yeah, why the sudden generosity? Well, I like that. You act like it's the first time I ever brought you ice cream and cake. No, it's the second. The first time was the night I agreed to marry you. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I'll have strawberry, please, Harriet. Help yourself to cake. Uh, uh, look, uh, before we get involved with the ice cream and cake and get ourselves under obligation to you girls, uh, let's get one thing straight. We're not going to do it. You're darn right we're not. Not going to do what? Whatever it is you're going to ask us to do. Well, have we asked you to do anything? Well, not yet. And we're not going to. <laughs> Wait a second, you mean to say you girls are going to run a gas station all by yourselves? Well, sure, why not? Women running a gas station? Well, women drive buses, they're women executives, women barbers. That's right, women can do anything people can do. Exactly. <laughs> Don't spill it all over yourself. <laughs> seem to want us to help them. Can you imagine a bunch of women trying to run a gas station? Well, if that's the way they want it, that's the way they can have it. Yeah, but is that the way they want it? Oh, who knows? Bob's making breakfast. Well, yeah, you, you probably left early this morning. Are you gonna eat that burnt toast pot? Sure, you can dunk it in the burnt coffee. <laughs> you guys mind breakfast? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, I, I figure we might whip up some pancakes. Well, when you say we, does that mean David and me? <laughs> well, you guys make awful good pancakes. Oh, uh, thanks, Bob. Why don't you eat the toast? Yeah, everybody needs a little carbon in his diet. <laughs> Didn't Mom have time to fix breakfast this morning? Uh, no, see, she had to open up the gas station. Well, what, what's the matter? It just seems so funny, Mom working at a gas station. It's not only funny, it's ridiculous. Sorry, we can't help you, Pop. We have to get downtown. Uh, 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 don't you guys want any breakfast at all? Uh, no, thanks, Pop. We'll grab something to eat down near the gas station. Well, wait a minute. Uh, uh, what are you going to do down there? We're going to help Mom. Well, I, I thought they didn't want any help. But they don't. Mom just wants us to show them how to operate the gas pumps. I figure we'd better check them out on a few other things, too. We don't want them putting water in somebody's tires. <laughs> well, how come your mother asked you fellas and she didn't ask me? Well, we're experts. Experts? You've never worked at a gas station. Come on now, Pop, don't be jealous. Now eat your toast and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Say. Take the hose out of the tank, put it back on the pump, put the gas cap back on. You mean that's all there is to it? That's all. Uh, well, now, explain it to us just once more, David. <laughs> no, that's all right, Claire. I made notations. Sally and Joan, you wash the windshields. I put gas in the tank. Clara, you check under the hood, and Junie, you check the tires, and anybody else who isn't doing anything, dust off the cars. That's about it, Mom. What do we do if we finish servicing the car and it won't start? Oh, that's the easiest part of all. You just call the automobile club. <laughs> Not a bad idea. 
Well, if that's all, Mom, Rick and I are going to get something to eat. No, wait a minute, fellas. That isn't all. You owe me uh, $3.76 for 10 gallons. I don't have any money. I have a credit card. No, I'm sorry. Today, all transactions are strictly cash. Oh, oh Ricky, you pay for it. Just my luck. I have money, but no credit card. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll just keep the changes for a worthy cause. Oh, well, good luck, Mom. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Bye fellas. Bye, fellas. Oh, Harriet, this is going to be easy. We've already collected $4. Hey, it looks like we've got some more business. Oh, everybody get to work. Yes, sir, how many? Well, I don't need any gas. I'm just trying to find Maple Drive. Oh, just a moment. There you are. I'm sure you'll be able to find it in there. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need any gas over the weekend, be sure and come back. Sure will. It's okay, girls. Just a minute. It's all right. He doesn't need any gas, Clara. Oh. Bye. That's too bad. Oh, he'll come back. He'll have to. Why? I didn't get a chance to put back all this stuff. <laughs> oh, Clara, for goodness sake. <laughs> Good morning. Where's Mr. Peters? Oh, he's away for the weekend. The women's club's taken over the gas station, and all the proceeds go to charity. Say, that's a great idea. Fill up the tank for me. Is it all right if I use your telephone? Yes, certainly. Right in the office. Okay, girls, let's go to work. This windshield is awfully dirty. Did somebody check the tires? Somebody check the tires. <laughs> $4. Here's five dollars. Keep the change for your charity. Well, thank you. Well, oh, that's all right. I've never had such charming service. Thank you. <laughs> Something the matter? No, no. Everything is fine. <laughs> Girls, I think we made a friend. You wouldn't say that if you knew what I know. <laughs> oh, here comes the little one. I can handle this by myself. Fill her up? Yes, thank you. Excuse me, the gas tank is up in front. Oh, well, what's back here? The engine. Well, you have to turn the car around. <laughs> no, no, it's very simple. How do you like these little cars? Fine, thank you. I was afraid you weren't going to ask me. <laughs> Will you please sit down, Darb? You're making me nervous. Now, why doesn't the phone ring? It will. Maybe Harriet forgot the number. Oh, don't be silly. Well, those women are up to something, and I'd like to know what it is. Why don't you go down to the gas station and find out? <laughs> get trapped into working? <laughs> well, look, we, we better get one thing straightened out. Are we concerned about getting trapped into helping him or not getting trapped? Well, I don't know. Say, why don't we call a meeting of the men's club? What for? Just set up a line of defense. Well, look, uh, they've been at it for nearly five hours. They'll be calling for help any minute now. When they do call for help, what do we do? We don't do anything. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> well, then what are we arguing about? Bye. Thank you very much. And tell your friends. Oh, I will. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, we're doing all right, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get this one. I know all about these little cars. Hi, would you pull it up, please? Yes, sir. Oh, you don't need any gas. Your gas tank's full. No, that's the radiator. The gas tank's back here. How do you like that? You miss one automobile show and you don't know what's going on. Oh, thanks, oh, thanks Rex. That came to $8.25, Pop. I charged it. Oh, thanks, Dave. 
Don't you think you guys ought to kick in for this? After all, I'm not running a boarding house here. Well, gee, Oz, you didn't want us to stay home and sweat this out alone. Well, at least you could have eaten before you came over here. This is very nice of Oz. I find it's very hard to think on an empty stomach. Hi, fellas. Oh, hi, oh, Harry. Don't, don't get up. <laughs> How are things going down at the gas station? Oh, just fine. You're closing up pretty early, aren't you? No, as a matter of fact, we decided to stay open all night tonight. All night? Yeah, I just came home to make some sandwiches for the girls, but I see you've already made some. You don't mind if I take these, do you? You can make some more. Well, the Harriet... Right, I have a paper bag out here. The Harriet, are, are you sure that's the only reason you came back here, uh, to get the sandwiches? Well, certainly. What other reason would I have? <laughs> It's pretty tricky. Uh, they're trying to get us to volunteer to go down to the gas station and help them. Haven't you ever heard of psychological warfare? Yeah, but I don't get it. They're not putting any pressure on us. That's the worst kind. They're using a devious, indirect method. But we're not going to fall for it. Oh, well, good night, fellas. Um, uh, good night, Harriet. Good morning. Good night, Harriet. Uh, uh, good night. You know, Oz, it's just possible they don't need us after all. Yeah, I think Darb's right. If they wanted us to come down there and help them out, they'd come right out and ask us. Yeah, you, you may have something there. But we might be giving them credit for being too devious, too subtle. Hello? Hello, Ozzy. Is Harriet there? Well, no, she just left. Oh, dear. What, what's the matter? I wanted to tell her about that car. It still keeps going by the gas station. Uh, what car? The big black one with the two men in the front seat. Well, never mind. I'll tell her when she gets here. Bye. Uh, uh, Clara? Uh, Clara? What's the matter, Oz? Well, uh, uh, Clara, she's calling Harriet to tell her about this big black car. What's this? Well, it seems there's this big black car with two men in it, and they keep driving up and down in front of the gas station. Wait a minute. I don't like the sound of that. To be honest with you, I don't either. And they're going to stay open all night tonight. And they've probably got a lot of cash down there, too. Well, why don't we move the game down to the gas station? We can keep an eye on the girls. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, what do you say, Joe? I'm out. I haven't had anything better than a pair of deuces since I left the house. Well, neither have I. I haven't seen that car, either. The big black one with the two men in it. Yeah, who cares? This is the seventh pot in a row I've won. Well, how's it going, fellas? Bye. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, Harriet, uh, where's that car? What car? The one Clara phoned about. She said she saw a big black car with two men in it driving up and down in front of the gas station. I did. Well, then where is it? Here it comes now. Those guys got a gun. Good evening. I'm Detective Sergeant Miller. This is my partner, Detective Jackson. Oh, uh, well, good evening, officers. Playing a little poker? Oh, uh, okay. that's a, a friendly little game. Apparently, you gentlemen aren't familiar with City Ordinance 648, Section B. 648, Section B. Uh, Section B? That's right. Better take along the cards and chips, Frank. We'll need those for evidence. Evidence? Should I call for the patrol wagon? No, I think we can fit them all in the squad car. Follow me, Joe. Uh, 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 officer, uh, officer, uh, you're not arresting us. Aren't we? Well, uh, I mean, we just came down here to... To, uh, to help us out? Uh, that's uh, to, to help the girls out. You see, uh, they're running the gas station. Well, you don't seem to be helping them. Well, I, I know, but we're, we're, we're going to uh, help them from now on. Oh, yeah! Oh, you were playing poker. Well, I, I know, but uh, uh, let, me, let me clean your windshield. Uh, uh, let me clean your windshield. I'll get your tire. I'll check your oil. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. We did that the first time they stopped by a couple of hours ago. If it's all right with you, Ms. Nelson, we'll stop by every once in a while just to make sure you've got everything under control. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Thank you very much, officers. Uh, and we'll see you gentlemen, too, of course. Oh, oh sure. Yeah, we'll yeah, I'll, I'll open the door for you. <laughs> oh, by the way, when I checked your oil, I couldn't find the place that stick went back in. Oh, what'd you do with it? Well, I've got it right here. Take your pick. Only one to a customer. <laughs> us again. They sure did. Harriet, if you want us to come down here and help you at the gas station, why don't you just come right out and ask us? Haven't you ever heard of psychological warfare? One of the girls, Poker, can ask the old man. <laughs> I like my poker. 
Well, maybe it won't be so bad. After all, there can't be too many cars out this time of night. Hey, what's this? Sounds like we're being attacked. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I told Dave and Rick to send all their friends down for gas after the dance tonight. Well, <laughs> come on, boys. I understand aces and deuces are wild. That's right. Aces, deuces, threes, and one eye jack. <laughs> of the many fine products of the Quaker Oats Company. ABC Television Network film presentation. <laughs>